Laura Wheeler Waring was an American artist and educator, best known for her paintings of prominent African Americans that she made during the Harlem Renaissance. This was the revival of American music, dance, art, fashion, literature, theatre and politics. Growing up in the late 19th century, Laura Wheeler Waring didn't see any artists who looked like her. She didn't see any paintings of people who looked like her either. As a young woman studying art in Paris, she found inspiration in the works of Matisse and Gauguin to paint the people she knew best. Back in Philadelphia, the Harmon Foundation commissioned her to paint portraits of accomplished African Americans. The particular piece I chose to look at was the study of a student. I really like this piece because it really shows Laura's painting process. You can see the brush marks and the way each stroke of paint has been applied. I love the freshness of the skin tones and the sharp contrast in the blue of the flower in her hair and the pink in the background. I believe Laura's work raises questions about the issues of the subjects of portraits throughout history. Kerry James Marshall, an American artist, shared his thoughts on these issues. For black people, he says, everything we do has to be ratified and endorsed by a power structure that is white and that reinforces a kind of racial hierarchy where whiteness is the privileged position to be in and ethnicity is problematic. But if you are always standing on the sideline as witness to other people achieving great things, then ultimately that has a damaging psychological effect because it undermines your self-worth. In this painting, the materials Waring used were oil paints on canvas. During the time Laura made her art, oil paints and canvases were very expensive. But fortunately for Laura, she was able to have access to these materials because she was financially stable due to growing up in a wealthy upper-class family. For artists of the working and lower class, however, these types of materials were unavailable to them, unfortunately, which meant they were limited to cheaper tools. I decided to work with acrylic paint, however, because I wanted to practice more with them anyway but also because the drying process with oil paints is longer and would mean I wouldn't have as much time to paint. I was inspired to paint this piece as a copy to get a feel for the way in which she worked. I applied brush strokes more like blocks and sections in some areas, as she had. It was interesting to find out more about the artist behind the artwork and to practice painting with an alternative process.